I started tearing into this uh, trigger assembly. Everybody's saying to check the ground. And you've got a plus and a minus that go into this pin here. And then, of course, you got your ground cable there. And the ground cable should be in pretty good shape. I use a heavy gauge wire for that. And uh, it all seems good. But I got looking into the gun. It seemed like something wasn't quite right with the gun to me, just instinct-wise. And uh, as I took it apart, this uh, the way that this works is you have the trigger switch you know the plus and the minus here and then you've got the heavy cable you know that delivers the amperage and then the air and they both come in together and it looks like the hose came off for the air and it was covered by uh, the handle here so i didn't know that it was leaking air and then this thing the sleeve was zip tied back onto here so it was probably leaking back out of here and blowing at the box where this attaches that's my guess anyway because like I say when I first got it it was working okay and then it just got to where it was just bad and uh, so anyway I'm hoping this is all that it was is just that this clamp came undone this may be from the process of taking it apart I don't know for sure yet but I'll clamp this more securely and see if that takes care of the problem that I was having with it not having a pilot arc I was so frustrated with that plasma cutter. What plasma cutter? That freaking plasma cutter. The light was actually coming on. It's got a little light to say something to do with the pilot and now the light's not on now. But uh, as you can see, I've done some testing and it's cutting a lot better. That was with an old tip that was blown up and this is with a new one. And it is a drag tip. You're supposed to drag these tips um, to get it started or to make anything happen. So, uh, I'm going to write uh, Brian's Mobile One across the top. And the problem with it was that the air hose came off on the inside. So I didn't get good directed airflow. Move that around. So, inside of here, you've got the uh, negative cable. Because this is negative and that's positive. This is basically your ground. And the air hose has the cable inside of it going up into here and then this is just a switch it just runs inside this sleeve when you look at the machine uh, the connection that you see that's blue right there that's the connection for the positive or the negative excuse me and then uh, out of the sleeve comes the trigger switch so anyway I got it all put back together and then it wouldn't cut at all it wouldn't arc it wouldn't spark it wouldn't do anything so I had to unplug it from the wall and then after I plugged it back in, after having it unplugged for a minute, then it decided to get happy, and that's where this cut came from. All right, so let's do this. Brian's mobile one. As you can see, it's rocking now. It's doing just fine. I can deal with this. <laughs> this is nice. I feel bad for bashing. I was just so frustrated. Um, but basically, this thing just came apart inside the handle for whatever reason. Probably at some point when I was coiling it up or something. But it's going good now. Cut out a triangle. Cut out a square. Not the best square. See if we can cut a straight line. Boy, once this gets cut and it's fun, let's cut a line. Cut another line. Make a banana. I will wait for it to stop. Cut a square. Looks like a turkey. Anyway, this thing's rocking it now, so I'm really happy. But that's the deal is that the air thing came off. And even with me crimping the air thing back on, I melted this uh, cable jacket housing. You can see it's got a little burn mark through it from before. And it's puffing out air, so even still, 
it doesn't have a very good connection inside of there so I'm sure if I sure that up sure it'll be better so anyway I'm just loving this this is Listen to that. See, look at the tip. It's still just a teeny little thing. I'm dragging it all over the surface. But it didn't have sufficient airflow, and so that's why it would just arc and blow out the tips, because it didn't have good airflow. Good now. If you go fast, it just burns it. You gotta go slow enough to go all the way through. I'm only at, what, like 30 amps? You look at the back side of this thing. Oh, that is so much better. So, so much better. I'm tickled. <laughs> we'll try cutting something with a little thickness to it. <laughs> yeah! Look at that! That is the shizzle! That is awesome! <laughs> I just about went out and spent two grand on something. And the tip's still in great shape. Man, I was bagging on this thing. I mean, yeah, they put it together crappy and it's got Chinese writing on the trigger, but man the rest of it, I think the box is fine I think the triggers just poorly made let's do some more Now I'm showing my lack of skill. <laughs> you gotta go slow and steady. Yeah, that's awesome. As long as you have good airflow, I can drag that tip on there and touch it all day long. I'm supposed to drag it. Cool. That is so awesome. When I bought this, I was thinking, yeah, I'm gonna be king of, you know, just slicing the crap out of stuff. Now I am. <laughs> I'm loving this.